In tonight's high octane wheel fest, Jeremy tests a thoroughly sensible Renault. Tony Mason parts the undergrowth to look back on 50 years of Land Rover. And Michelle Newman on the growing menace of unlicensed drivers. Put me in an electrical wholesalers, show me a choice of washing machines, and I'm completely lost. Heavy soil. You know, what I normally do when buying any form of white good is simple. I go for the cheapest. Now, if you follow that philosophy in the jumbled world of small hatchbacks, you will be led to the door of the new Renault Clio Bosch Hoovermatic. This 1.2-litre RT costs £10,000, 800 less than a Fiesta, 1,600 less than a Polo, 2,100 less than a Corsa, and most amazing of all, nearly £1,000 less than the old Clio. An impressive set of figures, I'm sure you'll agree, and it gets better. You see, I've got a standard power steering, which is an extra would cost £500. I've got electric windows and an electric sunshine roof, again, £500. I've got anti-lock brakes, £500. I've got central locking and an airbag, £500. Add in the dealer margin of, say, £1,000, and you're left with one inescapable fact. The car itself cost 37p. Obviously, the strong pound means Renault is able to pass on savings to the customer, but they say too that the new Clio is easier to make than its predecessor. The old Clio was already the best-selling car in Scotland, where saving money as a national sport. So this new one is likely to be so popular up there, it'll replace the thistle. That's as may be, but I think the Clio has lost some of its looks. At the front, its huge eyes make it look surprised. Surprised because round at the back we find... It's now got a saggy bottom. We also find a huge, thick C-pillar, which completely knackers rear three-quarter visibility. And would you just look at the rear legroom? Go on, look. There isn't any. Still, there is an upside to that. There's more space in the front than you'll find in the Yorkshire Dales. <sighs> There's a whole range of engines, including a hot 1.6 and a freezing cold killer diesel. But this 1.2 is probably best of them all, so long as you don't want to overtake anything. Right, 40 miles an hour, third gear. Here we go. And by the time I reach 60, I will be a very old man. I have to say, the Ford Fiesta is a more sprightly car to drive. It handles better and the engine's more willing. So, as a result, I'd go for the Blue Oval. However, even though both are sold with pathetic one-year warranties, the Renault will appeal to the more mature driver. It does 45 miles to the gallon, it's cheap to insure, and it feels more solid, more grown-up, more like a large car. And there are some lovely touches. The driver's side windscreen wiper jumps so that it clears more of the screen. And it's a heat reflective screen as well, which should go down well in Scotland. Then there's the stereo. You can operate that from here on the steering column. Very nice. Couple stuff like that to the fact the old Clio did quite well in our JD Power survey and you have, it must be said, a very fine washing machine. 